Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Um, today we're talking about alternatives to milk that you can use with your, air, um, with your Nespresso machine. Uh, I went to a friend's house recently and they're trying to go dairy free and they recommended using oat milk. So I thought for the purpose of this video today I'd just buy one of those and show you how it frothed up, whether it frothed up well, how it tastes. But then while I was in the store I realised that there was a few other alternatives. Obviously you've got soya, that's been huge for years. But now there's like almond, coconut, there's quite a few different ones. So I just bought a few and I thought I'll try them out today on video and you can, I'll give them a taste test. Obviously it's not a scientific, we all have different tastes, but I will taste them and see what I think, how much coffee comes through. Um, so we'll just, we'll get a crack on now. Whatever your reason for doing it, you know, maybe you're going vegan, maybe you find that you're dairy, you're dairy intolerant. There's loads of reasons why you might want to try alternative milks in your Nespresso machine or just in your coffee in general. So let's give it a try now and see how they froth up and how they taste. For the purpose of the video and the experiment, well, uh, I'm always going to fill it to just above this black dot inside the Aeroccino here. So that takes us to just under our maximum line inside for froth milk. Um, but it, I'll always be doing it just over that dot. So you can trust that the froth is going to be the same every time or it's been filled to the same level every single time. So we're going to start with soya. Now, I've never been a massive fan of soya milk. Um, I've li I like oat milk, but soya's not my favourite. But it's obviously one of the most popular and has been for years. Um, so I thought we'll try that one first, just to see how it comes out. So I'll just fill that up, like I say, as I said, just to above the black dot inside. Just a little bit of proof, just to the black dot. So I've just set that going, it takes about a minute to go, I've got a few cups here ready to go. I'm going to just use the Chocotino capsules each time as well to keep the experiment fair. See how much taste of the coffee and the chocolate comes through. So this takes about 60 seconds, so I'll just give it a couple of seconds and then I'll set the uh, capsule going. So what we're looking for really, what we're trying to establish is the consistency of the froth that comes out of the Aeroccino. Is it going to be good enough for you to use for lattes, cappuccinos, those types of drinks? And also, are we going to get enough taste of coffee coming through with each of these alternatives? Because some of them are obviously sweeter than others. For the purpose of the experiment as well, I've, I've gone with unsweetened versions of these each time just to keep it fair. This should nearly be finished now. Great, so that's finished. Now I can already see inside of here that there's quite a lot of froth inside and that's soya milk. So let's see how it pours out. I'll just pour it about halfway up the glass. Oh, that, that's really frothy actually. I'd say that that is more like the consistency we get with whole milk than it is with semi-skimmed. It's a good uh, good consistency, that. I'm just going to wash this Aeroccino out now while I try it. Well, my wife's going to wash them out for me in between. And I'll just try this now just to see how it tastes. It's actually not bad, that. I'm, I've never been a fan of soya, as I said a minute ago, but it's, it's not too bad, really. Um, it's a nice, frothy consistency. I can taste the coffee coming through. I can taste the chocolate. Um, I'll just try that again. Can I try a bit? It's not too bad. It's, I'm, a, I'm a milk fan myself. I, I, I don't. I'm not going to use the alternatives. I don't think, unless they taste really good. But I could definitely drink that if someone offered it to me, and that's all they had. So soya, so far, quite happy with that. So we'll just pause the video a second while my wife, while this just finishes washing out, and then we'll move on to the oat milk. So while the video was paused and we were washing out the Aeroccino, we all had a sip of the coffee, my wife, even my son, and my son even said it made him like espresso coffee. So that's a big tick for soya milk and my wife loved it and she actually is on the dairy free sort of thing, she likes the idea of veganism. So a big tick for the soya, I wasn't expecting that. 
So now we'll move on to oat milk, unsweetened oat milk. The reason we're washing the Arachino out in between, I've explained this in other videos, is just so it doesn't burn milk onto the inside of it. You should always really wash it out between uses. So I'll just pour some oat milk in now to the top of that black dot again. There. I might fast forward the video while the Arachino is going because 60 seconds it's not a long time but it can seem a long time while you're waiting for it like watching paint dry right, we'll set this um, next capsule off now I'm actually really glad I'm doing this video I was a bit unsure about whether it was needed but after tasting that soya coffee I can see that it really is a good experiment to do to see what the consistencies are like and how they taste with coffee these different milk alternatives so and I don't work for Alpro it's just they were all the ones that were in the shop so that's the reason I'm using them I have no connection with them whatsoever so set this next capsule off So just to reiterate, we're now on oat milk, unsweetened oat milk. I've had oat milk before because I, there were a time when I thought I was getting a dairy allergy. So I went to try in these different alternatives and oat milk was one I specifically found to be really nice with cereal. Um, so I've had that before. So it's going to be interesting to see how it tastes with coffee. Actually, as the Aerochino's going, I can already see that it's frothing up quite a lot inside. You can see it's right near the top, so we should get a good froth from this. It shouldn't be too much longer now. I won't fast forward it because there's no point. It's only a couple of seconds. We'll pour it straight out so you can see the consistency. Right, that's interesting. I thought that that was going to be more frothy than the soya, but it's not. I can see from the consistency of this that it's, um, it's less frothy, quite considerably less frothy. As you can see, if you have a look on the top, we can't really see that creamy texture of the form of the milk on top. But I'll give it a try, I'll give it a little taste, see what it tastes like. That one would be a good one if you like to have cream in your coffee. That tastes very creamy. So if you have like an Americano and you tend to put cream in, I think that would be a good option for you. For a latte or a cappuccino drinker, so that's miles better the soya but for the oak it's got that creamy taste the oak sorry it's got a creamy taste to it it is very nice and you can taste the coffee coming through but if you're into more lattes or cappuccinos i'd probably choose soya so far so we'll just pause the video again now wash it out again and we'll come back and we'll try the almond so again off camera there we all tasted the coffee with the oat milk and we all agreed that it, it has that taste of americano coffee with like cream in it in a, that you get in a coffee shop and um, again my son even tried to he's going to be hyper later but he prefer he preferred it um to the soya milk he said that he prefers a creamy like t texture to the coffee and that's what that does while we were off camera as well we also thought that we should really have been pointing out while the um aerochino is going just the benefits that it lists on the back of each one of these uh boxes so I'll give you the, the soya and the oat one because we've done those already and then while the Aerochino's on with the almond um, I'll list the benefits of those. So just on the back of the soya it's saying it's got calcium, iodine, uh, vitamins B2, B12, rich in plant protein, low in sugars, um, free from colours, naturally lactose free and naturally low in saturated fat. And obviously, I think they're all vegan. I'm going to imagine they're, they're all going to be vegan. So that's soya milk. Oat milk. Again, you've got your B vitamins. It's got calcium, so that's good. If you're going to miss out on it from the milk, that's good. Uh, no sugars and no sweeteners. Rich in fibre. Uh, free from colourings. Naturally lactose-free again. And naturally low in fat. So let's get this almond milk going. And I'll look at the benefits of that while the uh, Aerochino's stirring it up, frothing it up. So again, to the top of the black dot, just keep everything fair.
we'll set that going. I'll just pour the coffee out. Yeah, I pressed it too early then. And then we'll have a look on the back of the almond box in a minute. The reason I'm holding the cup a little bit higher is just because it can tend to splash around when you put it low. So, just thought even though it's on this little shelf, I just thought it keeps it a bit higher, stops it splashing. So the almond milk. We've got it's a source of calcium, no sugars or sweeteners. Again, the vitamin, the B vitamins are very important, but this one also has D and E, and I, th I don't think that was present on the others. Uh, free from colours, naturally lactose free and naturally low in fat, again, vegan. Um, so we can see the benefits of these, and some of the stuff you lose from the milk, you can gain a little bit back through, through the, uh, the vitamins that are in it. So this one, it's not, it's gonna be interesting to see how this one comes out. I've never had almond milk before. It does seem to be frothing up, but it doesn't seem a huge froth inside. Sure, it'll only be a few more seconds now. Right, we're ready. So let's see how this one comes out. That's pr that's quite good. I'd actually say that that's probably halfway between the oat and the soya. It's probably a bit less broth than the soya, more than the oat. So let's just see how it tastes. That's good actually, it's, it's less sweet than the oat, it doesn't have that creamy taste, it's got less froth a little bit than the soya, but I feel like you get more of a coffee taste, you know soya can sometimes have a bit of a, I don't know what the word would be, a bit of a, an edge to it, but this doesn't, this almond milk, um, so we'll, we'll all give this a try just to give you another opinion, uh, we'll wash the Aeroccino out in between, we'll tell you what we think in a second, just pause the video for a second. Okay, so we've washed out the Aeroccino again now. Off camera again, we all tasted the coffee, there's three of us here. And actually, on second tasting, we, we all felt that that was probably the worst of the lot so far, the almond. It did have an edge to it, a bit of a tang. Probably more so than the soya. So if you're looking for a milk that's going to froth up for lattes and cappuccinos, that did do it, but we personally all preferred the soya. Um, but if you're looking for a creamy milk and you're not that bothered about the froth, then we like the oat milk. So now we're going to move on to the final one that I bought, and that was a, the coconut milk. I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not expecting a lot from this. I, I bought it just for a laugh, really, just to see what it tastes like, because it was just a, it was there on offer at a pound, and I just thought, well, if we're going to try all these different ones, let's try something a little bit different and try coconut milk. So I'll just fill that up now into the Aeroccino, to the top of that black dot. This is the final one now. It will be interesting to see something a little bit different. We'll set that going. So with, again, I'll just remind you, we're just using the Chocotino capsule. We've used the same one with every coffee that we've made today. Just make this coffee and we can have a quick look again at the benefits on the back of the box. I don't know if you can see this on the camera, if we just lean in a little bit, you can see there's not, it doesn't seem to be frothing up all that much in there. Um, the other, the soya and the almond especially were coming up a lot higher than that, so I'm not expecting too much froth from this. But the benefits on the back, we've got B12, vitamin B12, vitamin D, calcium, I didn't know there'd be a lot of calcium in uh, coconut milk, but the list in it. 
no sugars, no sweeteners, low in calories, naturally low in fat, naturally lactose free and free from colours and preservatives again and again it's vegan. Um, so let's see how this one comes out, it shouldn't be too much longer now. As I say I'm not really expecting this to be brilliant but it might be a good one if you like sugar in your coffee, it might give you a bit of sweetness without having to have the sugar and then you could get an extra benefit from using this kind of milk. So there's no, there's hardly any froth there at all. And um, there's just a tiny bit in the top there. You could probably scoop that out. I can smell so much coconut right now. I'll just put that there. Let's give it a little taste. It's a bit, it's different. It's got a slightly creamy texture, not as much as the oat milk, but actually it doesn't taste that bad. I think it does have a, a bit of a sweetness to it. it. I'm getting a bit of an, an Americano taste from that, um, unlike the latte and the cappuccino -y taste. It, it's actually not that bad in Americanos. Um, we'll just have a little, I'll get my wife and son to have a taste as well, just to give a couple of other opinions, and we'll come back in a second. Okay, so we've just all tried the coconut uh, milk in the coffee and we're all agreed really that of all of them, that's the worst one. I wasn't expecting it to be any good. Um, I tried it thinking I'd say that's absolutely disgusting, but it wasn't disgusting. It could, it could, it might suit your taste, you might want to try it. But personally, I wouldn't have it in coffee again. So if we're going to rank these as the best ones, um, I think it depends what type of coffee you want. If you're going to want latte and cappuccino, then I would go soya, almond, oat, coconut. If you prefer like an Americano and you, you like putting milk and cream into your Americano, then I would probably go in that order, because this one had a bit less broth, and this was the creamiest tasting, then that one, then the soya, and then the coconut. So I hope you found the video useful, um, we've got plenty of other Nespresso videos on our playlist which I'll link to in a minute for you to check out, we're going to be doing more so please subscribe to the channel, if you've liked the video give it a like so that others will see it, um, thank you for watching and I hope you found it useful.